I'm pleased that there's a dialogue about my work. But there's some uh, misrepresentation. Uh, some people will think that my work is just about money. Certain aspects of my work are about money because my work also talks about desire. But uh, the work's not about money. It's not about just making something to sell. I learned early on when I always worked with ready-made objects that I would do everything to care and protect that ready-made and uh, to preserve its integrity of uh, and every perfection and imperfection. And one day when I made a sculpture, uh, everything was a fiasco. And uh, I couldn't save the sculpture unless I really did something radical to it. And I realized at that moment that I really didn't care about objects. I cared about people. And that's where the imperfections were, and that's where the perfections were that I really uh, cared about. And so I feel a moral responsibility every time I make something to give something a, a hundred percent because uh, that's who I care about. I care about the viewer. You know, especially today, it's not uh, unusual for uh, artists to have large uh, studios. If you're interested in making more than one painting a year, or if you're interested in uh, making more than one sculpture, you have to be able to uh, have support. I like to work with people because I don't want to be in a room by myself. I mean, I love the sense of family uh, that I have with my studio. As far as a business aspect of work and making things, you don't have to look at the bottom line on each uh, uh, issue. If you want to create something, even though it's impractical, and usually they're really the best things are impractical, and great art usually is very impractical, you know, you can just uh, go about and, and you can make it. You really don't have any choice, because uh, if you're making your work, you, you have to do it.